Hey, what's up? Andrew Kramer here for videocopilot.net. In this mini follow-up tutorial, I'm gonna show you a quick way to actually turn your planet into 3D. Thank you to Dan Eberts over at creativecow.net and motionscript.com. He came up with a cool uh, expression that will allow this to actually function in 3D space. Here's what you do. First, these three layers, the layers that make up our Earth, we're going to turn them to 3D. So if we hit F4, we can turn on the 3D switch. And then we're going to make a new camera. And we'll just use a 35 millimeter preset. And then we'll go down to our master Earth. And for the CC sphere effect, you can see the rotation has some animation on it, but we're gonna take that off. And here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna alt click on rotation X. And we are going to type, look at this comp dot active camera dot position comma position parentheses zero and then copy this alt click on the rotation for the Y paste it type one alt click on the Z paste it again and type two so now it's using the 3d coordinates from the camera that's going to allow this to actually function in 3d now if the 3d switches are off we can orbit around the camera using the orbit tool, as you can see. But if they are on, the layer then actually acts as a 3D layer. So it sort of rotates, but the problem is, yeah, it sort of goes flat once we get around it. So the workaround is to turn the layers back to 3D, then select each one of them, right click and choose Transform Auto Orient, and we're gonna select Orient Towards Camera. And that way, essentially, the layers will always look right at the camera. And here is the result. And if we were to turn our stars to 3D and then push the layer back so they're kind of far away in space and then enlarge the layer. And if we take the orbit tool, watch this. Well, hope you found it useful. Thank you, Dan Eberts, and uh, enjoy.